We have a big coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth strike zone later this week, and region 2661 wakes up and fires off a few beautiful eruptions before rotating to the sun's backside. Those stories and more in the news this week. The space weather is getting much more exciting this week. We have region 2661 that, when it came into Earth view on the sun's east limb, it had fired off a couple solar storms, and we thought, wow, this thing could be even a flare producer. But as it kind of rotated into the Earth strike zone, it kind of snoozed and fell kind of asleep. But now that it's rotating to the sun's west side, it's picking up again. Now it's firing off more solar storms. They're not Earth-directed, but it's giving us a beautiful display. Now, on top of that, we have this new coronal hole that is rotating into the Earth strike zone in probably about three days. We do expect to get some solar storming from that. On top of that, the region around it is really unstable, so it's been firing off a few slow solar storms that could actually extend the period of storming at Earth. So get ready for a very interesting weekend. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the fast wind from that coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in a few days. So NOAA is expecting minor storm conditions at high latitudes with about a 20 to 40 percent chance of a major storm. This is over the early part of the weekend. Things then should settle back down very uh, kind of slowly because we do have a few minor eruptions that may extend the period of storming for a few days. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting active conditions with about a 15% chance of a minor storm. And then again, things will settle down and things should be quiet back, quieting back down at the beginning of the week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is in the green when it comes to flares. Now we were watching region 2661, but it has since rotated to the sun's backside, so we're left with region 2662, and it's really not much of a flare producer. However, we do have more activity on the Earth-facing disk right now, so that is keeping our solar flux in the low 70s. So you amateur radio operators, enjoy marginal propagation. It doesn't look like we're going to fall off the edge of the map here, but it's not going to be great propagation. At least it'll last for probably around the next two weeks, barring, of course, solar storms. So the space weather this week is looking to be pretty exciting. We do have that coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next few days, and that should give us some solar storming for at least the early part of the weekend. So your war photographers, you do have a chance to catch some more shots. I'm not sure if the show is going to be fantastic, but it should give us something, at least for, the, for maybe about 48 hours. Now you GPS operators, you should be very happy because we no longer have any flare producers on the Earth-facing disk, so GPS and GNSS should be perfect. And you uh, amateur radio operators, once we get through the early part of this weekend with this solar storm, things should calm back down and we'll be back to marginal conditions. At least it's not super bad, especially as we get closer to solar minimum. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.